Vinesh Gundu Rao joins us, senior Congress leader from Karnataka. Mr. Gundu Rao, I'll show you where the Congress's tally stays at this moment. If we look at the breakup of the Congress tally, the in India Alliance is up 101. The Congress at 94, six short of a double century. But you'd be delighted, given what the exit polls were saying, you'd be delighted at how the numbers stack up at this moment. Uh, yeah, Rahul, I mean, the exit poll was something which uh, we could not believe. And when we heard those numbers, we were surprised and shocked. Uh, but, you know, we've been seeing this uh, throughout the election that uh, we've been not just fighting the Bharatiya Janata Party, but we were fighting the establishment also. We were fighting the institutions. We had a media which was partisan. And uh, we had an election commission which was compromised. So it was a big battle. And I think looking at the numbers that are coming up now, uh, let's wait for the final figures. But I feel that this is something that is good that has happened to our country. Because the narrative that had been built up in the last 10 years, this uh, divisive politics that was taking place in this country, and the appropriation of institution that was happening blatantly, I think for that the people have answered. And I was just hearing what you were saying. And I must say that the rural India has realized what is going wrong with India than the urban India. The less educated, the less uh, you know, rich, or the less uh, knowledgeable people, whom we, whom we may say are less knowledgeable in terms of education, they have, I think, uh, given a clear uh, you know, message to the country that what is good for India, it is not India versus Bharat. It is India is Bharat, and Bharat is India. Don't divide it, and don't create these false barriers and false walls, and try to you know, create so much of hatred amongst each other. So I think the message is good. Let's hope for the final numbers. And once the final numbers are out, maybe it could be that uh, NDA may not be able to form a government, and uh, the India Alliance may be in a position to form a government. But whatever it may be, I think From India's the government, democracy is driving a strong let me, message let me, by let the me people pull that out. Dinesh to Gundu stop Rao, this kind of you know, uh, politics. You fancy yourself as an years. election strategist as well, so explain this. At this moment, the BJP at 241, TDP at 16, JDU at 14, Congress at 94, SP at 33, Trinamool at 30, DMK at 21. Sarkar, kaise banao ke, sir? No, I am just saying let the final numbers come out and then we can take a final call on what, what will be the final, uh, uh, you know, or the, what will be the true picture of government formation. Because in politics, we've got to wait till the end. But even if we cannot form a government, I think there's going to be a very strong opposition. And this ramrodding of uh, uh, policies and not being bothered of what the opposition feels or what the people feel and appropriating all institutions and misusing it. We saw the kind of misuse that has happened. You, you've seen it. We've seen it. How opposition parties have been targeted. How opposition voices have been targeted. People who raise their voices against the government uh, from the non-governmental sectors, civil society, they've been harassed. They've been troubled. And they've been put in jail. Preeti, so, uh, uh, Preeti has a question. We've got two more guests. Adil Singh Boparai and... Adil Singh Boparai and Jaivir Shergil joining ahead, us. Jaivir, you know... There was so much that we spoke of through this election, the silent vote. Modi ka settled vote hai. But it does seem, Jaivir Shergil, the silent vote has spoken. We'll come down to the numbers of Punjab later. Uh, Preeti, good afternoon. Thank you for good having afternoon. me on the show. One or two opening remarks. In Hindi, there is a saying, uh, Jo jita vahi sikandar. The writing on the wall is clear. The Sikandar of 2024 is Bharatiya Janata Party in NDA. Yesterday, Mr. Rahul Gandhi was listening to the song of Suddhu Musewala 295. But I can tell you with certainty, after 2 p.m., he will listen You're to You're standing Pankaj on 295 Udaas, right now. Je after he Javeed, sees on your TV the channel. The NDA is now exactly 295. One second, one second. Let me complete. Now, at least we are 295. Mr. Rahul Gandhi will switch from Siddhu Musewala to Pankaj Udaas. After 2 o'clock, when he will see PM is swearing in for the third time as a Prime Minister of country. Three facts are cannot be shaken or changed. One, NDA is forming the government. Two, Prime Minister is coming for the third time. Three, Congress will remain sitting in the opposition benches. The tragedy is, 
if Congress is happy celebrating the jump from 50 to 90 seats, then God bless them and we need such kind of opposition. To raise a grievance against the Bharatiya Janata Party seems to be, yes, you are coming forward first, but instead of 99%, why are you not getting 90%? BJP no, but you is celebration the ready, BJP is government celebration ready, Jaivin and Shelgil. the goal will be it's in the no, BJP. Jaivin Shelgil, Jaivin Shelgil, you know, sometimes, you know, those who switch from one party to the other are often the most, uh, uh, have the greatest animosity against their old party. But the truth of the matter is, when you told the world char so par, when the exit poll said what they were, you know, is there any bit, is there a bit of humility? You're relying on the likes of Chandra Babu, Naidu and Ditish Kumar to take you over 272 at the moment. So is there any humility, any lesson, or is it going to be, you haven't got 90. You are ending up, you know, you haven't got a 90 percenter in this election. Some humility might be helpful, Jaivir. Mr. Rajiv Sardesai, I'm a trained lawyer and a spokesperson who speaks on facts and not on personal animosities. I don't have a personal animosity against the Congress. I have an animosity about Congress's pro-China, pro-Naxalism, pro this wealth okay. distribution, pro Fair this point. extreme left ideology. Yes, Javeer, I have as I bring in Adil as well. Present day Fair ideology. Point. Number Javeer, one. as I bring Number in Adil two. as well, for a moment reflect because Number you've also two. been Let very me, vocal please. on the BJP's campaign in Punjab. You've been very vocal about it. Now, as I look at at least where the trends Adil. suggest, the BJP is nowhere where Punjab is concerned. Are you asking me? Yeah, Jaivi, that's for you and we'll bring in Adil. Yes. Uh, okay, uh, Preeti, I'm not going to mince words and call spade a spade. The Punjab uh, uh, results as of now at 12.30 are not up to BJP's expectations or up to BJP's mark. BJP hoped to penetrate the rural and the urban belt at a much higher percentage than it did with the Akali Dal. Number three, and I want to say I bow down my head to the electorate in utmost humility and uh, humbleness. Three seats, Khadur Saab, Farid Kot, and Simranjit Singh Man winning shows that the winds are not blowing in the right direction in, the, in Punjab. These three candidates winning shows that there's a larger problem which is somewhere uh, we are not able to gauge. No, so let's spend a moment on that. Let's look at this. This is a very big story. You know, you've got an extremist Khalistani yeah, who's lodged story. in jail. This is very problematic. Amrit Pal Singh currently in jail in Assam, 1,80,000 votes. As an independent candidate, he's leaving over Kulbir Zira of the Congress and Laljit Bhullar of the Ahmadmi Party. This is very problematic. He's a dangerous guy, this Amrit Pal Singh. Uh, if you look also at Sangroor... Uh, I think Simranjit Singh Man is back. Yeah, you know, the, the, these are extremist elements. No, fortunately at this moment, Gurmeet Aap Singh is, here is, is ahead. Bleeding. But uh, that was close as well. It's quite a close fight. At this moment, he's winning. But, uh, you know, getting this guy in Khadur Sahib into parliament is bad enough. Raul, I'll just Adil ask... Singh I'll, Adil, I'll ask Adil. Adil Singh Boparai, though, the question, which is, you know, the fact, Adil Singh, there is something right in what is being also said by Javir there. The BJP is still well ahead of you. They are two to one ahead of you in terms of their individual seats. The Congress leading in about 90. The BJP well ahead in over 240 seats. So, the BJP is party number one. They will form the government. You may be a strong opposition, but they will form the government now. 60, 60 seconds, Mr. Sardesai. Firstly, this is an election which is going to go down to the last wire. So therefore, the BJP should not count their chickens before they hatch, point number one. Point number two, we were fighting against all odds. We were fighting an establishment. We were fighting against institutionalized BJP control. We were fighting against an election commission, or at least urging them to take action, which was in comatose. We had our accounts frozen on the eve of the elections. We had our chief ministers being arrested on the eve of the elections. The BJP, despite their monetary power, despite their bureaucratic power, despite their media power, we've been able to, we've been able to take the narrative away from their polarizing tactics to the constitution of India. I think that is the key takeaway. No, number but surely, two, surely number three, numbers matter in politics. I, 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 I agree on the narrative. What about the numbers? You need, you, you know, if you had 120, you would have do. a little bit more talking points. Most certainly they do. But you, the, no, the story is not out. The story is not complete. The story is what? not complete. Don't you actually believe you actually believe you can reach 120? You actually believe you can reach 120? 
we do sincerely we do, we do sincerely believe that by about 3 pm the picture will be much clearer we do believe you know i can do the India maths right away you don't need to wait that long i can do the maths right now there are 13 seats where the margin is less than uh, 1000 these are evenly distributed between the nda and the india alliance so it's an equal distribution here if we go uh, to seats where the margin is less than 5000 between the winner and the runner up at this moment there are 56 such seats again virtually equally split between the india and the nda 26 if I look at seats which are less than 10,000 at this moment, there are 125 such seats where the margin is less than 10,000, again equally distributed. So the chance of, just, just statistically, the chance of this distribution skewing in one favor, so it's not lopsided at the base. So from now, for this to swing in one way, that would really be, Rahul Verma, quite difficult. So anybody, like you know, this is an important moment, let's spend some time. No matter which category of seats I look at, even if I look at seats where the margin is less than 10,000 votes, 125 such seats, they're almost equally divided. Yeah. Therefore, it's not going to go, if, if you're hoping for a miracle, that dhar 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 bhi end mein hamari chakke lagne, ya wo wale out ho jayenge, nothing of the sort statistically is likely to happen. Yeah, most likely the leads are going to go in this direction. It can change a little. Yeah, it can it change, change on the little, margins. But, but now it's The trend is set. The trend is the set. Trend is I, set. I, I think what you, we can fairly say at this moment of time that it would be very difficult for NDA to now cross 325 uh, and BJP will struggle to get majority on its own. It is still possible that they can get majority on their own, uh, but it would, wouldn't be a comfortable uh, majority. So if I, you know, the irony of this whole election is that the BJP's national vote share has actually gone up by 3%, 40% at this the moment. Also, huh? uh, oh, so the exit like, poll can say... the BJP numbers right, not no, no. the Congress numbers. They got the vote share right. right. Vote share they side, got yeah. the BJP's vote share right because the BJP has increased its pan-India presence by 3%. The Congress has increased its pan-India presence yeah, by about 7%. That's why I said like seat conversion in India is very, very hard because it doesn't only depend on winner's vote share, it also depends on the gap between winner and runner-up and how the distribution of other parties had taken place. You know, uh, I think Congress has done surprisingly well in terms of vote share and one should give it to them. Okay, so we need to do a hot seat cool hour. Preeti, why don't you go ahead and, and give us a hot seat cool hour. Producer, let's go. All right, let's begin hot seat cool hour and uh, let's begin with Amethi. Well, on the hot seat uh, with some cool hava is no one else but Congress's Kishori Lal Sharma. Uh, you have Smithy Rani who's trailing right now on the seat of Amethi. The Congress uh, in the lead where Amethi is concerned. And that is uh, the hot seat. <laughs> and with quite a margin where the seat of Amethi is concerned. Well, the Congress would be very glad. Priyanka Gandhi Rajdeep did campaign heavily there. But uh, neighboring Rai Bareilly... Uh, it seems uh, Rahul Gandhi right now leading where uh, hot seat cool hawa is concerned. Uh, quite a bit of uh, AC blowing in for Rahul Gandhi. Quite a big margin that he is uh, leading from where Rai Bareilly is concerned. These two seats, Rajdeep, even when Priyanka Gandhi, when you know you interviewed sure. her, she said, she said, these two seats I'm going to take uh, she, she responsibility made a prestige, Particularly she made Amethi a prestige True. fight. I, I just am getting some of our farmaishes meanwhile. Delhi, let's look uh, at Delhi. Hot seat cool hawa in Delhi. Which yeah, seats coming up next? All right, Kanhaiya Kumar. Despite of the campaign that he mounted, Kanaiya Kumar trailing very comfortable is uh, Manoj Tiwari from the Bharatiya Janata Party on the northeast seat in Delhi. Actually, all seven seats where Delhi is concerned, right now, BJP leading in all seven. Mandi, let's cut across to Himachal. Kangana Ranaut leading in her seat where hot seat Kool Hawa is concerned. The Kool Hawa uh, blowing uh, for Kangana Ranaut. She's going to find herself in the parliament in all probability. Huge lead for Kangana Ranaut. Okay. Uh, can I just get some quick uh, formations which are coming from people in, in government, so you want to say yes to them. Prajwal which, gov which government? <laughs> the present government. Uh. Abhi tak government hai ki hai, government bandhi nahi 